What's going on and crew? My name is Andrew. Welcome back to a brand new exciting video. All right guys, so today I've got a quick video for you explaining how to do this Sam Calder vertical Instagram video. This is like the easiest way to make your Instagram videos not only stand out, but also look like a hundred times more professional. Also guys, one more thing. I'm sorry, one more thing before we hop into this tutorial. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, well, <laughs> excuse you. You guys should follow me on Instagram at AndrewJMES. There will also be a link for it down in the description below. Hit me up there, give me a follow, and connect with me. Anyways, guys, let's take it down a couple of notches, hop into Premiere Pro, and start talking about this effect. Right here, I've got the intro you guys just watched, and I want to export this out for Instagram. I'm probably not actually going to use this on Instagram. I'm going to tweak a couple things and post it like next week or something like that. But let's just say that I'm going to post it on Instagram. As you guys can see, right now it is not vertical, it's widescreen, and that's not going to look good on Instagram. So what you do is you have to go over and find your sequence. My sequence is named Instagram Sequence. It wasn't originally called that. It was originally called the name of the first clip I dragged into the timeline, but I changed it to Instagram Sequence just to keep things a little bit more organized. What you're gonna do is select your sequence, hit Control C, and then hit Control V. On Mac, it's gonna be Command C, Command V. Now I've duplicated our sequence, and I'm just gonna name this Instagram sequence Copy. The reason why I copied it instead of just adjusting it directly is just in case we mess anything up, we've got this backup original sequence to go to. So now what I'm gonna do is go back over to my project panel, right click on this sequence, and then I'm gonna go all the way up and hit Sequence Settings. What we're gonna be messing around with is this video section and specific specifically the frame size. We're gonna change this horizontal frame size from 3840 to 1842. And we're gonna change the vertical to 2304. Now, if you hit okay, as you guys can see, it's instantly changed our sequence settings to the Instagram four x five vertical dimensions. It's so, so easy. And I promise you, it will make your clips look so much more professional. Now, there are a couple things I have to tweak. The first thing is I need to take off this letterbox effect. So that gets rid of those bars on the top. And then what I have to do is just go through and scale up parts of my clip to fill the frame. For some clips, you're gonna wanna adjust the position of it. So I'm gonna change this position and I'm gonna drag it over just so it's a little bit more centered. That looks terrible. We need to definitely adjust this one. I'll bring it way up. We'll keep going through. This one needs to go down a bit. Just keep methodically going through your clips and scaling them up or dragging them up as needed. Okay, so now let's say I'm completely done. I've made all of my adjustments and it's time to export our clip. It's super simple. You do it the same way as you would any other clip. I'm gonna set my out point right here by hitting O on my keyboard. And then I'm gonna hit Control M on PC or Command M on Mac. I'm gonna select where I wanna save it. I'll save it to my desktop. And then you're gonna go down and hit Match Source. And then everything else looks good. I'm gonna select use maximum render quality. And then I'm also going to select render at maximum depth. And I think that's pretty much it. So all you have to do now is hit export. All right, guys, so the video just finished exporting. If we go over to the desktop, oh man, I've got a messy, messy desktop. And I open up this Instagram sequence copy. As you guys can see, it plays through. So if you upload this to Instagram, you'll get that nice four by five vertical video look. Just like Sam Coulter, it is awesome. So let's play through the video and I'm actually gonna be using my new background lights. I got these new background lights and I can actually hook them up to my computer and the colors will change depending on what is playing on the screen. So if I actually pull up this video, as you guys can see, the colors will change as we play it through. <laughs> That is pretty much it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, if you guys have not followed me on Instagram, then follow me on Instagram at AndrewJMES. If you guys like travel videos or travel photos or anything like that, then definitely hit me up. If you guys have not joined the Ann Crew, the Ann Crew is a place for creative entrepreneurs, aspiring YouTubers, aspiring editors, aspiring videographers, and just people like that. If you guys feel like there is nobody around you who thinks like you do, nobody around you who dreams like you do, then the Ann Crew is the place for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll catch you guys on Wednesday. Peace.